afternoon it's april 10th and we was finally able to break out the lawnmower and get the yard mowed looking good i got it mowed and trimmed up and leaf blower out on it here we got some yukon gold potatoes i planted in there the other day i think three days ago when the weather was nice that's my rain buckets here's our little garlic bed you can see our garlic's coming up i throw my grass clippings right on top of there I don't fertilize the lawn or anything, so I can use that. Here's my water barrels. It's a brand new trash can that they gave us extra one when we started their service. So it's just me and my wife. We only use one, so this thing was had water barrel written all over it. So I pumped them. I have a downspout up front where those buckets are, and I have a water pump and a yellow hose. You can see the hose here. Oh, sorry, didn't mean to go so fast. And I just stick a bucket under that downspout, take the elbow off, and when it rains, it fills the buckets up, and I just turn the pump on, and it pumps this thing full. Here's our planter box here that where the tomatoes and the, and the uh, giant Marconi sweet pepper plants are gonna go here's our onion plant and our store-bought celery we cut the ends off of and planted them and here's our carrot box I just uncovered today because it's nice and warm supposed to be 60 you can see the carrots they're starting to come up finally and we was able to get the blueberry plants in today. We dug the holes out twice the diameter of the pot. Filled the, uh, filled the hole in the bottom with peat moss and a quarter cup of sulfur. Stirred it all in. Each of these, this is a, the wind is blowing pretty good, I hope it don't affect the sound, but this is a Northland, it's a real cold tolerant blueberry plant, and then we have, you can see that blue ray, and then we have another Northland, If I can get it, there we go. And then another Blu-ray. So we'll get some good cross-pollinization with these. These are the one we got from Indiana Berry. And I was going to do a video on putting them in the ground. But it took so much. And I didn't want to have a 30-minute video. So I dug out all the holes twice the diameter of the pot. I've got a... I've got a old part of a wheelbarrow there. So I drag it over here and I put the soil in the wheelbarrow, then mixed it with peat moss. I threw some pine bark nuggets in the bottom of the hole so it would have some organic matter in there and some straw. And uh, then I just filled the holes back in. And as I filled the holes in, I put a quarter cup of sulfur around the plant. And we just got them all in the ground in a nice straight row, four feet apart. They say these plants get four to five foot tall on the Northlands and a little over four foot tall on the Blu-ray. So we spread them four foot apart. That's what the recommendation is on a blueberry plant, unless you're planting the short low bush or the rabbit eye varieties. You can get by with probably two foot. But there again, there's our blueberries all planted. 
and we've been slowly watering them in. I took the pine bark mulch and I covered the top of the soil because uh, blueberry plants are shallow rooted plants and they don't like to dry out. If they dry out, you can just about lose them. So we're gonna get some pine bark nuggets, smaller pieces. These are the pine bark or the pine bark that come from the pine tree we had cut down there. And there's our bags of leaves. I'm gonna get them over here on the compost pile. We got that getting ready to go for the sweet potatoes. I've got slips already coming on in there. So we got the blueberries in and I'm gonna put about two to three gallons of water on each of them to get them all saturated really well and I've already got a gallon on each and I tested it with my pH meter and I've got it at 5.5 so I'm gonna drop it down a little bit more I'd like to get it between four four and four five but that'll come as uh, it starts getting warmer and I add a little more sulfur so there's our blueberry plants in the ground Everything else is doing great. Here's our strawberry plants. They're doing great, even the ones in the pots. These are uh, all-star variety. I've got some flowers down in there, so we should be getting some berries in there before long. Try to slow down with this thing. And then our, our blackberries, they're coming out really nice. They're starting to sprout out pretty good. And while we was at the Indiana Berry, I got some fertilizer for these guys. I got the fertilizer on it. and We've got a bagger on our mower. So when we, we don't fertilize or put any chemicals on our lawn. So when we cut the grass, we take the grass clippings and, and straw and mulch and that's also and leaves. And that's also fertilizers for the berries. Let's see here. And these guys are coming out this is our long row here i fertilized these three days ago too and they're coming out real nice so with any luck we'll get some berries this year lord willing our lettuces are starting to come out of their thing with this nice warm weather we got coming on and let me show you this as these are bags of leaves this is our compost pile that we plant our sweet potatoes in every year we'll do a layer of leaves a layer of like uh, potato peelings and carrot peelings and coffee grinds and lettuce and then we'll do another layer of leaves and another layer of grass and every year we plant our sweet potatoes here and i'm going to tell you what I have found so much or gotten so much better luck out of our sweet potatoes in this compost pile than I ever did in our in our in the ground over here in these in these little raised beds I had. So we went ahead and did the raised beds full of peas and you can see they're doing great. These are sugar snap peas and they're doing great. We've got our little onion bed here, and they're starting to come out. Let's see if I can get one to show you. There you go. Our onions are starting to bulb out. We're actually green out. Put some tops on them bulbs. And here's another variety of our peas that we plant. This is little marble, and they're doing great too. So just a little update. Here's where we plant our Yukon Gold potatoes in our four by seven foot box and we cover it because of the spring rains and we don't want to get a, our seed potatoes to rot. So we don't have anything coming up yet. But when they do, we'll keep you posted. There's our other box. I'm gonna take this, probably this, the end of this month and I'm gonna take these two boxes and plant our um, we have a baby Dutch yellow potato. So they'll go in these boxes. We're keeping them covered so they stay nice and warm. And I just wanted to show you how we do our sweet potato compost pile. These are bags of leaves that I pick up at the uh, from my neighbors that bag their leaves 
we lost all of our ash trees to the ash borer, so we have no leaves, but I get the leaves from my neighbors, and I use them as, as a uh, border, and I just dump the bags of leaves in, throw a couple of handfuls of soil in there and some potting mix in between the layers, not much soil at all. Last year, we didn't have any. We grew sweet potatoes. Our largest was five pounds. We grow the Georgia Jet variety, so... There you go. Don't take much. To uh to be self-sufficient and all this is free. So there you go. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.